Hi everybody, it's Sharon from Vivid Days. I am hoping that you are going to hear me because I'm outside again doing my intro, talking a little bit quiet because the neighbours are outside. But it's a beautiful day and I'm about to take Zeus a walk, but I wanted to capture this piece. So if you want to continue watching this video, you're going to see how I create and I have to say, this is my own personal favourite one. Have you ever created something that just brings tears to your eyes or you're just so happy? It's so bright and happy. I love it. I'm not too sure if the sun being behind it, you'll get to see this in all its glory. But the video is me creating this. Oh my God, I love it. The yellow is so happy. The diamonds or crystal table gems are so pretty. The yellow is so pretty the composition for me it just all lines up and it's beautiful so continue watching if you want to see me create this piece if not come back and see another video there might be something you enjoy but thumbs up subscribe subscribe share comments are always welcome remember to showcase your art with me because you inspire me on my facebook group and hopefully we will inspire you it's a small little community uh, but we are a very supportive community. And also, if you want to purchase any of my work, pop over to my Etsy store. There might be some treasures there. But, oh my God, isn't it just beautiful?
we are here for review time and what I'm about to say may sound really strange but I don't care. Have you ever found something so beautiful that it almost makes you want to cry? Well this is my favourite resin sculpture I have done and it's just such a bright happy sorry excuse my nails um positive piece and you might think Sharon what are you doing but I can guarantee it's not because I have just finished working with resin and it's not to do with the fumes I just find it very aesthetically pleasing for me and I hope you find it that way too even with tiny little blue that's crept in there from the glitter from my uh, resin. But see if I can get to focus. It just looks like glass. And there is just so much you can tell. I'm just in awe of it. There's so much interest. And I added the gems. Um, sorry, I hope you can focus on it. In the base here. So they're all stuck in uh, from where I added resin to make sure the top and the bottom so I stayed stuck together but they're all the way down as the big ones and the little ones and I find that that's added quite a lot of value for me a little bit stuck out there that was part of it I know but yeah I mean wow now this is the one sorry I'm still in awe of it and I'm hoping that I'll be able to show you in natural light so this is the one where I challenged myself could I do a 3d flower within the resin sculpture now this itself has not 100% been successful with that because you do have to balance the time that you put your resin down to make sure it's not going to lose it's um, shape too much and you can control it which then Gives you the challenge of can you apply your resin, which in this case it was casting craft, white and yellow, in time to be able to allow some organic movement. Now, the other complexity is when you're then hanging it upside down into the shape, the first stage of the shape, the, there is going to be a little bit of movement potentially. Now, what I enjoy is this yellow and white have just given such a happy colour and when you look and because she, well let me backtrack and then because you're sculpting it some of the flowers that you've created are not necessarily showing as true flowers i mean let's just do a flyover shall we it's just i just love it i can't explain how something whether it's the vibrant yellow whether it's all these crystals whether it's the shape I just and that because it's not alcohol inks and it is casting crafts, it's going to hold its colour. Now, um, I just yeah, I just I'm in love with this piece. I mean, tell me if I'm just being over the top or dramatic here, but I just think that this is the best piece I have done from colours, from shape, from it looking like glass. I just love it. But I'm digressing. So let's go in and let's take a look at some of these flowers. So. This was one of the flowers there and parts of it had moved. But again, because I've um, sculpted it, you're not necessarily going to see it. So I'd say that these are more suggestions of flowers and petals. But there's some parts there where you do see some of the effects coming through. And that one's there has been put in half. So some of them you can see on some of the petals, uh, the delicateness of it i mean it's very abstract you'd have to really look at it to sort of say hey i can see flowers um but underneath there that part there you can see some of the movement where the resin and the casting craft has started to work together so there are moments oh sorry so there are moments that suggest it could be done and it could be possible but i think next time it's one of my flowers uh, there as well I think next time I'm going to try and add my yellow a little bit earlier. Some of my loose crystals are still coming out. Uh, so I think from an experiment point of view, I think the answer will be yes. You can definitely see, I'm repeating myself because I'm just getting lost in looking at it. 
Um, you can see some of the effects that you create with your 3D flowers. And yeah, sorry. So I think I'm going to come back and revisit it. But I would love your thoughts. What do you feel when you see this composition? And can you see some of the delicate petals that I'm talking about that come from creating your 3D floating flowers, even if it's just that suggestion of it? Do you enjoy seeing these colours on this piece? And yeah, what do you think as far as I'm saying that I think it's my best resin sculpture, but that's what's pleasing to my eye. But I'd love your thoughts. And if the sun was out here now to catch that, it's just oh, stunning. Uh, but the two layers, they become mine, and that's what I do. And what do you think to these crystals? Let's see if we can focus. It's down the bottom. I mean, when you look through, you can see some of them peeping through. And it adds, look there, that little bit of more, I think, glass-like feel or diamond. I think I'm just lost in it. Thumbs up, subscribe, share. Comments are always welcome. Remember to visit my Etsy store, Facebook or Redbubble. There might be some treasures there that you want to purchase. And also, if you want to showcase some of your creations, regardless of how you complete your creativeness, whether that be wood turning, whether that be, I don't know, mosaics, any kind of craft whatsoever, showcase it to me in the Facebook group. Um, I love to be inspired by you and hopefully I inspire you also. Yeah, I will see you on the next video and I hope that you enjoy this as much as I enjoy this because I freaking love it. I just love it. All right, see you on the next video. Neil's working very hard. He's got his foundations in ready for his little wall before he puts the patio down. Bless him. I'm gonna go for a walk. He's got to hump a lot of bricks that's just arrived um, to finish it. Uh, but I'll go, oh, there's Aries. I'll give you little project updates. There's Seuss. Yeah. See you on the next video. Thank you for all your support. Much love.